Welcome back to this plucky little film review channel in which I will be unlocking the BMW 3 Series of cinema with the electronic key fob of criticism. The brilliant young filmmaker Damien Chazelle, who once gave us the fierce drama Whiplash, the gorgeous Hollywood musical La La Land, and the sombre and underrated First Man about astronaut Neil Armstrong, has now pulled out every stop and spent every dollar imaginable with the turbocharged and weirdly heavy-handed epic unsubtly and prescriptively entitled Babylon. It is all about the chaos and excess of 1920s silent era Hollywood, a topic it approaches by being stridently chaotic and excessive. Bitch is stealing the scene right from Mummy. She's icing her nipples so they perk up through her dress. I ain't icing my nipples. This is natural. Where do you say we come in for my close-up now? What are your thoughts? For the future. Shouldn't stand in the way of progress. This is gonna be what it's gonna be. <laughs> It's a love letter to the movies, inevitably, though I remember Chazelle's previous films being love letters to actual human beings. He is concerned to restore some of the minorities who've been erased in Hollywood's heterosexual history, but he really fudges the new Me Too conversation about the Hollywood golden age. All the raunchy sex here is very much consensual, and those outrageous party scenes with the mandatory overhead shots showing semi-nude women crowd-surfing face up, it's so much like Baz Luhrmann, he should be getting a royalty check. Various stock characters swirl around in the movie Madness. Brad Pitt plays Jack Conrad, a handsome, much-married leading man of a certain age in the John Gilbert mould, whose career is on the slide, concealing his boozy ennui with a veneer of genial suavity. Lee Fun Lee is stylish and charismatic in the role of Lady Fei Zhu, a queer club singer, perhaps inspired by Anna Mae Wong. But most importantly, there is Margot Robbie, playing Nellie Leroy, an obsessive wannabe it girl in the style of Evelyn Nesbitt bit or Clara Bow. She impresses everyone with her sexiness and ability to cry on cue. Relative newcomer Diego Calva does well in the role of Manny Torres, the movie-struck Mexican kid who gets a job on Jack's location shoot, rises up the studio food chain, pretends to be from Spain to avoid anti-Mexican bigotry and is secretly in love with Nelly. There are plenty of great scenes here, particularly that colossally decadent party where there is to be a Roscoe Arbuckle-style crisis. One plutocrat, doing drugs and pervy activity with a young woman in a private room, panics when she loses consciousness. The question of rape, which fueled the actual Arbuckle case, of which he was eventually exonerated, does not feature, and the movie swerves the question of whether this fictional woman recovers or not. It has to be said that the traumatised secrets suffered by all it girls from real-life Hollywood tended to be not that they had a quaintly imagined gambling habit, as Nellie has, but that they had been sexually abused by their employers. Babylon is a film that's thinking big, aiming big, acting big, but feeling small, and finally solemnly ordering us to care about the celluloid magic, a secondary emotional response that should be happening without any explicit instruction. But it's always a pleasure to be in the presence of such black belt movie stars as Brad Pitt and Margot Robbie. And there is something funny in Babylon's absurd event movie gigantism. That's it. May I now, as on so many previous occasions, ask you to put aside whatever ill-advised reservations you may have and give this vlog a like and a share on your socials. Maybe do something high-spirited on TikTok about how much you like it. And above all, swallow your pride and subscribe to this channel and leave a fiercely supportive comment to say how wholeheartedly you've done this. Also, please buy my book, The Films That Made Me, an edited selection of my essays and reviews from The Guardian. See you next time. <laughs>